Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on Place Value Part 2. This video follows on from the previous lesson. Here we look at the place values associated with 3, 4 and 5 digit numbers. Let's look at the first example. This is the 1's column, the 10's column and the 100's column. So we've got 2, 4, 7. So 247 will be 2 times 100 because the 100 there has the 2 plus 4 times 10 because the 4 is in the 10's column plus 7 times 1 because the 7 is in the 1's column. So that gives us 200, that gives us 40 and that gives us 7. So that's 247. So that is the meaning of 247. Two hundreds, four tens, and seven ones. Here we have 370, and they're the different columns. So 370 is 3 times 100, 7 times 10, and 0 times 1. So that's 370 and 0, which is 370. The next example, 508 is 5 times 100 plus 0 times 10 plus 8 times 1 500 plus 0 plus 8 is 508. We now look at four digit numbers. So with four digit numbers we have a ones column, a tens column, a hundreds column and a thousands column. So 5643 will be 5 times a thousand plus 6 times a hundred plus 4 times 10 plus 3 times 1. So that's 5,000 plus 600 plus 40 plus 3 which is 5,643. The next example 6,070. 6 times 1,000 plus 0 times 100 plus 7 times 10 plus 0 times 1. That's 6,000 plus 0 plus 70 plus 0 which is 6,070. We now look at a five digit number, 75,438. So we have the ones column, the tens column, the hundreds column, the thousands column, and the ten thousands column. So this seven is actually seven times ten thousand. That five is five times a thousand. The four is four times a hundred. The three is three times ten. And the eight is eight times one. So we have 7,000, 5,000, 400, 30 and 8. When we add those together we get 75,438. So this video has continued on with the idea of place value and we've looked at 3, 4 and 5 digit numbers.